Hello, 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 everybody. I am doing the uh, last of the cards with, which is 20 cards, with the, of the Oh My Heart collection. And I am starting with this card here. Um, this is one that I actually add something to that is not in the kit, but you can find it at your local craft store. Um, if you wanted to add it in there, I added to a couple cards actually, and I really like how it turns out. You'll have to see what it is when I do it, but uh, yeah, I do the stamping here uh, before I put it on the card, and it just kind of helps it so that they stamp out nicely. Uh, I also decide to do the X's first so that I know how much room and where I have to place my hearts. You totally could have done a border that's just, you know, X, 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 X if you wanted to, but I didn't. I did the XO's like it shows. I did add a little bit more of the stickles silver stickles then it calls for and I put this up on foam foam tape now what I add here <clears throat> you'll see after the foam tape you could also do black cardstock and it would kinda give the same effect uh, it does not have the sparkle but it does it would definitely do um, add the same black you know border to it so here I was going to pull out my silver uh, shimmer trim and I decide not to or so not shimmer trim it's silver uh, embellishing thread and then I decide to use these sequins so go ahead and add some uh, adhere them down with some liquid glass and trim off the edges and then I decide you know what I think it needs a little bit more so I add it to the top too uh, but that's pretty much the only thing that I do for this one that is not like the card the original card um, as you see me go through this this uh, workshop I definitely kind of split it up a little bit um, sometimes I do it exactly sometimes do I do it similar sometimes I do it a little bit different it all depends on how I'm feeling at the time and what you know type of inspiration uh, hits me at the time so that would be that one and then I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the next one this is one that is pretty simple um, I think the hardest part is lining up the the stamped part on this uh, pink piece here I want to say it's pixie but I don't think it's pixie I think it is hmm, something else something else maybe it is pixie it's definitely not ballerina oh it could be blossom I don't know I don't know what it is I'm not sure I really am not sure um hmm I don't know that it says on the instructions either. Nope. No, it doesn't. I know the ink colors that they uh, ask to or have you use is the pixie, the candy apple, and then the uh, black. So. So I go ahead and stamp that around the border. This time I don't worry about going off the edges. I just want to, you know, get it done. <laughs> this, I think I'm doing this like the day before um, uh, Valentine's Day. So I was like, you know, I really need to get these done. It might have been a couple of days before Valentine's Day, but boy, life got busy. It got so busy. I was planning on having all of these done before Valentine's Day and all up and scheduled and all that stuff, but you know what? Life is just, life is just life. It never goes the way I hope it will go. It just has its own flow. And my plans very rarely actually like add up to, you know, what I want it to. So that's okay. 
life is set, and you know, that's just life. That's the way it works, so. I am, yeah, I think I may have uh, mixed up that top piece with another piece for another card, um, because it was smaller than it should have been, but that's okay. I just trimmed it off. Can't even tell, unless you measure the card, which I highly doubt anybody's going to measure the card, so. And, of course, foam dots. And I'm trying to use up some random ones that I found in my desk, so they're like kind of stacked on each other and I'm not sure exactly what, what you know I don't remember exactly why I had it that way but yeah I did so because I stuck the other uh, the red piece candy apple piece on foam I did not put the sticker on foam I didn't really want it too thick so that's you know just add a couple of stickles and on we go to the next card that is a perfect example of a card that I kind of kept the same. Now this one I definitely thought was going to be an easy put together and it of course ended up a little more difficult just because I decided to add more so uh, that happens when you decide to add more. Now one kind of cool thing is this type of card you this layout in particular you can like flip over and mix and match your card stocks and your pattern papers to whatever you want them to be. Like you can um, change them up any way you want. Uh, you could do like tons of different cards with just this particular uh, card layout. So I think that's kind of awesome. Go ahead and stamp that and then add adhesive to the back. Uh, line it up in the center. I can trim off anything on the outside that I need to. Um, this pink piece kind of threw me for a loop because I was just like, it's really kind of naked. And I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do with it, but you'll see what I do with it. I do something. It definitely solves the naked problem. <laughs> and then I have a balance problem. And then I solve that too. And then it just looks like, just kind of busy. Not too bad once it actually, you know, um, what's the word? Not bad once it actually dries. It just seems like a lot when it's not dry. Just because they have lumps. So. So here I go adding the stickles. It is just a basic pattern. I mean, it's really just kind of like polka dots, so. It goes pretty easy. Um, the and then I feel like it's unbalanced, so then I go ahead and change it up and add some stickles to in between the bows, and um, that you know takes care of the balance thing. But I don't know. I don't know. It didn't turn out bad. It really didn't. So the next card is the last one on the sheet here, and so I go ahead and get the card base ready. Um, go ahead and add adhesive. It is, you know, kind of repetitive, honestly. It's just, you know, once you have all of these pieces put together in the little kits, it really doesn't take very long for each card. I mean, I'm doing all of these, and they are, like, the video's under 12 minutes. And, I mean, they are sped up three times the, the speed, so approximately, like, 36 minutes. It was just a little bit over two of my... Um, videos, full videos that my camera can do. They do, it does 30 minute increments, so which is kind of a pain, but at least, you know, I can get it, get things videoed. So this one, I just pretty much add, uh, try to mimic what I see in the uh, instructions. And I'm adding these little tiny hearts as well.
and then I go ahead and add the faux washi stamp and then the word love. And then across the bottom I think it has the dashed line stamp that goes with everything. And then I figure out what I want on foam dots or foam foam dots, no foam, not foam dots, foam tape. And so yeah, it goes pretty pretty quickly. And I use the I should have had one up above that. So I'm just gonna add the adhesive on here. Put some foam tape on the back. Of course, gotta take the foam, the sticky off the foam, or the cover off the sticky. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my card. After I put it on my card, then I go ahead and add the stickles. Now, the stickles, I decide to do some stickles hearts. And so I have s sparkly hearts to go along with the rest of the hearts that are on the page. So, page, card. So, yeah, the, um, I'm going to show you the difference between what was originally in the workshop instructions and what my cards ended up like. And that was a little close-up. I just love that color combination. I don't know what it is, but it's just such a cute card. Um, and if you liked give the video, give me a thumbs up. If you are interested in purchasing this collection, it is going to be available until February 29th of 2020. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!